Okay, Daddy, I should have just told you this before, but I was too scared. Whitney, if Chad Harris has done anything to hurt you, then you have a right to be scared. No, Daddy, no. It's, it's, not, it's not about... Whitney, tell me whatever it is, okay? Because nobody, I mean, nobody messes with my family and gets away with it. Now, that boy has gone too far. I swear to you, Daddy, I understand what you're saying, but this isn't about Chad. I need to tell you about something else. Whitney, I don't think that you should say anything that you might regret. I'm sure that whatever it is, that we can take care of it without having extra people around. Did you really think you're lame? Please, you could shut Whitney up. No, your daughter's too honest, too forthright to keep what she knows inside so you get ready, Eve. This time, you won't skate. Whitney, your mother means well, okay? But it is not healthy for you to keep all this bottle up inside of you to make you so upset. Now, sweetheart, you're with family. You're with people who love you. Now, tell us what's going on and tell me now. I'm saying, TC, is that maybe if I have a little more time alone with Whitney... No, no, Mom, it's not going to work this time. Sweetheart, it's pretty obvious to me that Whitney wants to tell me something. Yes. Sweetheart, what is it? What has you so undone? It's just, you know, it's not easy for me to say, but I have given it a lot of thought, and it's time that you knew the truth. What the hell? Is... Liz, could you please get the door and just tell him whoever it is, it's not a good time. Listen to me, TC. We need to talk this out. Fighting won't help anything. You know what I need? It's to never lay eyes on your arrogant self again. How dare you come around my house after what you've done? I know what you've already talked. Julian, you've come at a very bad time. You see, Whitney just got home, and she's been trying to tell her father something. I see. Eve, we don't have to explain a damn thing to him. This is none of his business. Now, get the hell out before I throw you out. Please, T.C. Don't you understand English, Julian? Get out! You're not welcome here. I'm not leaving. I'm here for Eve. What the hell you mean you come here to see my wife? All right, that's enough. The both of you. No, Luis, you don't get it. I asked him a question. He said he comes here to see my wife. I want to know what you mean. Julian... Would you please go? No, no, no. I think we're all pretty curious to hear. All right, TC, you need to calm down. No, I don't. Not when this bastard says he'd come here to see my wife. I don't think so. Look, I know what Julian meant, okay? And I'll tell you. Julian came here with me tonight to see Eve. All right, I need her help to get Sheridan out of the psychiatric hospital. Are you saying that Julian came here with you? As strange as that sounds, yes. We seem to be uh, sharing a common interest. I don't believe it. Eve could squirm out of this again. I'm very concerned about the therapy that Sheridan is getting in the hospital. When I spoke to Julian, he said I had good reason to be concerned, and that's why we came here to get Eve. See if she can come with us to the hospital and get to the bottom of this. I don't buy it. Because Julian has never given a damn about anybody but himself. He's got an ulterior motive. Well, I think he's telling the truth this time. And to be honest with you, I need all the help I can get here. I don't care, Luis. He has no right setting foot on private property. I want you out of here and away from my family forever. I'm not leaving here yet. That's a bad answer, Julian. Daddy, no! Daddy, no! Daddy, stop it! You'll kill him! Stop it! Oh, you just couldn't bear that, could you? Daddy, no! Daddy, no! Daddy, no! Daddy, no! Daddy, no! Daddy! You're lucky I don't put you out of your miserable existence for good. Stay the hell out! That man is an idiot on top of his arrogance. I almost took him out tonight. But damn it, TC, you can't just go around beating the hell out of everyone you don't like. You know what? I have plenty of reasons not to like that bastard. Well, all I'm saying is, well, if you would have hit him one more time, I might have had to place you under arrest for assault, okay? Look, Daddy, he's definitely not worth that. I don't have time for this right now. Eve, please. Look, I know it's late, but can you come with us to the hospital? Luis, you can't possibly believe that he cares anything about his sister. I mean, not the Julian Crane that I know. I know. It's a switch. I swear he's telling the truth. You're going soft, Luis. I don't think so. And you know I've always hated Julian, and I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but there's... 
Look, there's something that was different about him tonight when we talked. But he, he told me about this woman that he loved, he actually still loves, and he could never be with. Really? Uh, did he happen to mention her name? No, he didn't give me a name, but I... I could tell that it, that it was genuine, that... Look, the thing is, I think that he wants to help me get Sheridan back because he never got over th this love of his life that he lost. Julian is as phony as they get. If he told you something about... It's because he wants something. I mean, the man doesn't have a decent bone in his body. Well, I don't think so. Well, I do. I mean, it's pretty obvious whatever story he told you, it wasn't true. I mean, what decent woman would get involved with a man like that? He's a pig. He has never had an honest relationship in his life. All right, Daddy, you gotta listen to me, okay? Oh, baby, I forgot. You want to tell me something? Yes, and it's very important. Whitney's been trying to tell us something all night, something that's been bothering her. Yes, honey. What is so important that it can't wait? Um, well, what's important right now is for Mom to go with Louise and Mr. Crane to the hospital to see if there's anything that she can do to help. Oh, my goodness. We have raised ourselves a very wonderful and thoughtful daughter. For all the things that she's going through right now, to think of someone else that is in, that is in more need than she is. Then, then you don't mind if I go, T.C.? I'd be happier if Julian wasn't going along for the ride. Well, I'll make sure he doesn't come anywhere near her, T.C. Then go. See what you can do to help Sheridan. Thank you, T.C. I'll do my best. Really need to get a move on, Eve. You know, God only knows what they're doing to Sheridan in there. I'll get, I'll get my coat. Yeah, we'll have dinner some other time. Thanks for being so understanding, T.C. Oh, my bag is in the kitchen. I'll get it. Sweetheart, good luck at the hospital, okay? Mm -hmm. Luis, let me know if there's anything I can do. Thank you, I will. God knows, I mean, Julian Crane and, and Alistair, there's no telling what he's up to. You get Sheridan away from that family as soon as possible. Eve, I don't mean to rush you, but we gotta get Sheridan out of there before they hurt her more than I already have. <sighs> it has been a long night. Sweetheart, how about if I make us some hot chocolate? Oh, thank you, Daddy. That'd be great. You know how much I love you, don't you? I love you, too. Mm -hmm. 